These houses use 90% less energy than a conventional home. That's over £800 and over $1,000 saved on bills every year. But that's not the only reason people choose to live in them. There are five key advantages of passive houses that are often overlooked and have nothing to do with money. Every room stays the same temperature year round. The air is cleaner inside than outside. There is no mold. It's completely silent inside. And there is a plethora of natural light also inside. But how? Firstly, passive house temperatures. Often your bedroom could be freezing while your living room is overheated. Summer hits and one room becomes unbearable while another stays comfortable. Conventional homes cannot distribute heat evenly. Passive houses maintain 22 degrees Celsius in every room all year. No cold bedrooms, no overheated living rooms, no drafts, just consistent comfort everywhere. This works because of super insulation. The walls are insulated three to four times more effectively than standard construction. We're talking R values exceeding 40 compared to 15 to 20 in typical homes. Heat simply cannot escape through a building's envelope. But here's what makes this really clever. The insulation works both ways. It prevents heat loss during winter and blocks heat gain during summer. That same thick wall that keeps your warmth in during January stops the scorching heat from getting in during July. You get stable comfort all year without constantly adjusting your thermostats. Overhangs, louvers and special coatings that I'll go into later can be stalled or applied for additional protection during summer months. 99% of the time, air quality is better outside than inside. In a standard home, you open windows to get fresh air. But you're actually letting in pollen, dust, pollution, car exhaust fumes in. All the particulate matter floating around outside comes straight into your home. If you have allergies or asthma, this is a big problem. Passive houses use heat recovery ventilation systems with HEPA level filtration. HEPA is a type of air filter that removes 99.97% of dust, pollen, mold and bacteria. Fresh air enters your home continuously, but it gets filtered before distributed. The result is indoor air quality that's actually cleaner inside than outside. The fresh air is what you're already breathing with the windows shut. You're getting constant ventilation without opening the windows. No pollen, no dust, no pollution. Just clean, filtered air flowing through your home 24-7. And because you never need to open windows, you also keep out noise. Most of us have adapted to constant background noise like traffic, neighbours, sirens and construction. It all seeps into our homes through walls and especially through windows, but it does affect us more than we normally realise. It disrupts sleep, it increases stress, and it makes concentration more difficult. Passive houses achieve 40 to 50 decibel noise reduction. The thick insulation doesn't just stop heat, it stops sound. Passive houses also have high performance windows. They're triple paned with gas fills between the layers. They block outside noise so effectively that you can live on a busy street and barely hear the traffic. That's the difference between a loud restaurant and a quiet library. Better sleep, lower stress and improved focus. The building itself actually creates a peaceful environment for you. Passive houses are also a zero mould risk. Mould grows when you have moisture and the right temperature. In conventional homes, this happens constantly, especially in the UK. You get condensation on cold windows, moisture built up in poorly ventilated bathrooms, humid air gets trapped in walls, and mould starts growing, often when you can't actually see it first. Mould isn't just unpleasant, it's a serious health hazard. It triggers allergies, causes respiratory problems, and can lead to chronic illnesses. Many homes have mould problems that owners don't even know about. Passive houses eliminate this risk through three mechanisms. Firstly, 
airtight construction prevents moisture from getting trapped in wall cavities. Secondly, continuous ventilation removes humid air before condensation can even occur. And thirdly, high performance windows stay warm enough that condensation doesn't form on the glass. Passive houses ensure you get controlled humidity levels year round. No condensation, no moisture buildup, so no mould. Your respiratory health is protected just by living in the space. And you also get abundant natural light. Passive houses maximise daylight without sacrificing energy performance. In conventional homes, large windows mean heat loss in winter and heat gain in summer. So architects often compromise by making windows smaller, which creates darker, more depressing places. Passive houses solve this with high performance glazing. These windows let light through but block heat transfer. You can have large south facing windows that capture sunlight without the energy penalty. You get naturally lit spaces that improve mood and reduce the need for artificial lighting. Research shows that natural light improves sleep quality, reduces depression and increases vitamin D production. Passive house design delivers these benefits while maintaining that 90% energy reduction. And this is how it actually works. The outcomes I said before come from five technical principles. The first is the super insulation. Walls, roofs and floors are insulated to extremely high levels. Our values, as I said previously, are 40 or higher compared to 15 to 20 in standard construction. Our values measure thermal resistance. The higher it is, the better an insulator it is. This dramatically reduces heat transfer through the building envelope. Another key principle of Passive House is air tightness. The building's envelope is sealed to prevent air leakage. This is tested with a blower door test that measures air changes per hour. The Passive House standard requires less than 0.6 air changes per hour. That's about 60 times more airtight than your typical home. Passive houses also have high performance windows with low emissivity coatings and insulated frames. Low E glass coatings reduce the thermal transfer. They let light through while blocking the heat. Passive houses also eliminate thermal bridges. A thermal bridge is anywhere heat can bypass insulation. A metal beam connecting inside and outside creates a pathway for heat loss. Passive houses are designed to eliminate these bridges through careful detailing and thermal breaks. They also have heat recovery ventilation. This is the system that brings in filtered fresh air while recovering around 90% of the heat from outgoing stale air. The two air streams pass through a heat exchanger without mixing. You get continuous ventilation without energy loss. These five principles work together as an integrated system. Each component reinforces the others to achieve that 90% reduction while delivering all the comfort and health benefits that I've described. Passive house construction typically costs 10 to 15% more than a conventional building. But this premium pays for the superior insulation, the high performance windows, the airtight construction details and mechanical ventilation systems. But afterwards you're not paying to heat and cool the space for the next 50 years. These energy savings add up quickly. Most passive house owners see payback within 10 to 15 years and after that it's 100% savings forever. Plus, there's the better health, the better sleep, the overall better quality of life. That's hard to quantify, but absolutely significant. Passive house design delivers measurable improvements in thermal comfort, air quality, acoustic performance, moisture control, and natural light. The 90% energy reduction is the quantifiable outcome, but the superior living experience is the major advantage. I hope you enjoyed and learned something about this video about passive houses. And if you click over here, there's a video of mine that YouTube believes you will enjoy.